episode of Out of Bounds. I'm Shannon Shepard, and today I'm with Charlon Kloof, who's a sophomore guard for St. Bonaventure Basketball. And Charlon, you probably have a really thick passport. You've traveled to a lot of countries. You've played in a lot of different places. Tell me a little bit more about your story, your travel story. Well, I've been uh, all around, as you said. I grew up in Suriname, my home country. And then after that, went to uh, Netherlands, stayed a couple of years, and after that, it was all over, going, traveling all through Europe, playing basketball, and I even did some, uh, went to a couple countries uh, through Boy Scouts. Really? Yeah, really, really young. I went to um, Caribbean to uh, do a Boy Scouts, so that's how I got all over the place. Awesome. <laughs> now, how many different languages can you speak if you've been to all these countries? Um, I speak three languages, uh, Surinamese, that's a mixture between Spanish, Dutch, English, a little bit, um, Dutch, and I try to speak English. <laughs> now you're six foot three, so you're a pretty tall guard. Do you feel like that height gives you an advantage when you're on the court at all? Um, definitely gives me an uh, advantage, uh, I would say especially on defense, um, getting deflections, getting steals, and getting rebounds, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with that height. Now, you've had a little bit of a changing role so far this season for St. Bonaventure Basketball. You started off on the bench, then you come in and you play a lot of minutes, now you're a starter. So does the game change for you at all, you know, depending on what, you know, if you're starting or coming off the bench? Um, not, not really. It's, um, people try to think that it adds more pressure to it, but I'm, I try to define my game as, as a hard worker, as energetic, and coming off the bench, you need that energy, but starting the game, you also need that energy to, to start the team off. So for me, it doesn't really change. Now, basketball is really big in the United States, but it's not the biggest sport in other countries. So, you know, you're from different countries. Uh, what other sports do you enjoy to play? Have you played different sports growing up? Um, well, growing up, like um, early age, I, I, um, I played a lot of soccer. Because really? soccer is the main sport in my right. country. And I don't know about, I never really did it, but, but soccer, soccer was, was the main thing that I fell in love with basketball. How'd you get into basketball? Um, a friend of mine, he, um, or a friend of my dad, his cousin, his nephew came, um, moved from the States to uh, Suriname, and he joined the club. So um, when my, my dad's friend introduced us, he was like, hey, you want to come uh, play basketball, uh, join the club and stuff? And, uh, my cousins played it, so I already knew the sport, and I was like, okay. okay. And that's where it started. Now, in all these episodes of Out of Bounds, we do a quick 10, in which I'm going to ask you 10 quick questions. Just tell me the first thing that comes to your mind, okay? Okay. Um, what's the coolest basketball game you've ever played in? Um, I would say the game that I made the uh, game in it to win the European Championships. Uh, what's the, your favorite country you've ever visited? Um, I would say it's a tie between the um, United States and Syria. Because Syria is my home country, and the United States has great basketball. Um, do you have a nickname at all? Um, I wouldn't say a nickname, just names that people call me by if they can't pronounce my name. Well, Charlie, something yeah, like that. Yeah, Charlie. <laughs> but not a nickname? Not a nickname. Just Sherlock. Yes. Um, what's your major? My major is finance. Do you have any plans for Christmas? Um, Christmas I'm staying here, and... It's not that sad because I got I got my coaches over here and this, the gym the gym's still gonna be open so it's gonna be a great Christmas. <laughs> Outside of basketball, if you couldn't play basketball, what would your dream job be? Um, honestly, just find a way to to help my country rise, help my country get some recognition. Um, what's the origin of your name? It's kind of a, it's a different name. Yeah, um, I would say what I've heard uh, it has something to do with French. Uh, my mom, she just liked the name, so that's it, I think. Um, do you, in the NFL, we've got Tim Tebow. Now, do you know what Tebowing is? Yeah. Should we Tebow right now? Okay. Okay. Let's do a Tebow. Awesome. <laughs> um, do you have any siblings? Uh, on my mom's side, it's just me and my brother. But on my dad's side, it's uh, we're with seven, seven boys. Seven boys. Yes. Oh my goodness. Where do you fall in that lineup? Um, I'm right in the middle. <laughs> and finally, what country do you cheer for when it comes to the Olympics? Uh, oh, my country isn't isn't in the Olympics that often, but um, 
growing up, I was always cheering for USA. You know, I basketball, but also the other sports, uh, track, um, um, the job, and uh, whatever you call it, uh, when they do a lot of flips and stuff. Gymnastics. Uh, gymnastics, yeah. yes. Uh, I always cheered for USA, so I guess uh, USA. Yes. All right. Great, Charlton. Thank you so much for going out of bounds with us. No, you're welcome. Make sure you take me to GoBodies.com for many more episodes of Out of Bounds.